Okay, so um, here's the video, the next uh, video. This video should be number two because this is the uh, all the parts that you need. Uh, what you see on here is actually optional. You only need your converter. You would need some type of screws. Like I got this. Is this is five sixteen? Okay, and I got that in the package uh, at an auto store. So you can actually use anything that is 516. You can even use this too, but you have to remember this has to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so this is exactly 516. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, or 3 8 Okay, you can use the 516 because it's pretty much the same, the same thing. Okay, so it's depend. I got this in the in the package uh, with the hose and stuff. Um, they sell it at the auto store. So this is what I'm gonna use. Okay, what is this for? This goes into your air filter. Okay, now I'm gonna make an example. Pretend, pretend this is our air filter. We're just gonna make a hole to go in. That's it, okay. And that, where did this goes? It goes on to here. You see this here here. Now, if that, if, and I said if, you don't have enough space for bracket, like let's say if you want a bracket on the bottom or something, then take this contraption off, add your line into it. That's why I have this extra line right here. Cut to the size you need and then go into here okay then for this end you would go into your tank this is just uh, one of those regulator um, I find them as cheap as like twelve dollars and this is for our barbecue that we use and it just come to here you would have to cut it here on this end though because this is the gas end we have to use something like this okay this is a 5 16 or 14 to 16 millimeter uh, clamps and you notice how they have a thing where you can screw in to make it really tight because remember we're going in into here anything from this end here has to be very secure okay so that's basically is it okay very simple I don't know any other way to explain it now I'm gonna move to here these are just optional stuff okay sorry a little shaky on the camera there this is just clamps that I use I got variety packages at the store I use these for my mowers and stuff like that I stated earlier I got these kit and they have 1 4th 5 16 and 3 8 okay you can use uh, a 3 8 line because it depends on what this is okay your discharge because remember one's coming in and one coming out the thing in between is this thing okay just remember that easy concept then you would hook this in and then clamp onto it because on this end we don't really have to uh, really secure because if you look at it they just put a little clamp where you can just go like that whoops you see that cheap clamps so on that end doesn't really matter but if you want to be secure use something like this or this okay now I also gave a few other scenario that you can use and remember this is all optional okay because we already we already done out our stuff this is all optional just get the size that you like but remember stick with the same principle that would be best because then you would able to um, get the holes for cheap or whatever 
I got this at Harbor Freight um, for sixteen dollars and it's twenty five foot so that's pretty cheap I use it for a lot of things I use it for gas I use it because it's um, even though it's air but it's 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 very good hose I've done it with my lawnmower blah 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 then I brought some of these it's just that I have them lay around in this case it has to be the 516 because I'm using to that but this is brass if your air holes if your not sorry if your filter is really big you can use this screw it on and then when you're not using it and you unplug it you can use this thing to plug it back too so nothing will go in either see that that's another option okay or you can take it from the source itself and plug it in same thing okay because this is gonna be our source our going in port okay that's going into the air filter itself because we're tapping into the air filter so that way you're not messing with any of the equipments we're not gonna mess with anything except for one hole going into the air filter okay I brought some of these just in case other people have it they have Bob wires the 516 Bob wire with the, with the screw on similar to this but it's smaller and this is 516 you can get that it's just that these are double connectors but you can just get one that actually have a screw when you screw that in and then and then this would you be your coming in from the air filter so I just brought that as an extra another thing that you can use is uh, tire valves now I have used this a lot of things okay don't underestimate these cheap tire valves okay you can do so many things with it please remember that okay remember I am all about cheap but smart always my channel is about cheap easy and smart okay I'm not gonna go through this all this stuff to make blah 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 here's why let's say this is your air filter because we're gonna make this as our air filter you got a hole you go through from the other side and you pull this through so it gets stuck you take this out let's say you don't have any of these okay you take this out you take the valve stem bow okay you put the holes in it for instance for example your long holes short whatever in it okay and look clamp it and boom you are done okay now the best way to do is is that never I'm gonna give you an, an extra tip never touch the end uh, once you complete this don't touch this end forward because this end is going to your your gas tank you don't want it to open in open out open in open out open in it's best to go through here like let's say you want to store it and you don't want to tank around let's say I'm on a uh, a pressure washer and I have to remove it just remove this okay and then use your cap to close that up so that way there is no air or any debris or anything going into your filter get it so for like a dollar something you can do so much on those I believe these are like a dollar nineteen you get two of them and there's more usage on this too I'm gonna make an F, a separate video on that you can use this as car bumpers yep you drill a hole you plug this inside and your car your stuff would just go in top of like a door a door bumper uh, anything any type of bumper anything that is like about what I don't know three-eighths of us maybe maybe in one-fourth it would be like one-fourth uh, of an inch so this would stick up right things will bump onto it and here's your cushion get it so very remember this tip very useful okay not just for tires I have used this so many things the only thing you have to drill is a big hole because this is one inch drill so you have to have enough for the one inch drill and then you'll be able to, to push this, push this through and it acts as a bumper although we're not 
using this in this case for us bumper I'm just giving you a tip on these what I use them for I use them for a lot of things you can use them for fuel line too yep you heard it correctly I put this onto my fuel like when my fuel is messed up like my gas tank last time my gas tank is messed up I drill a bigger hole push this through I unleash that and I put my my my, my tube right into it and remove the stem and this is where my fuel goes in so you can see like pretend this is my gas tank I go right into here I don't have to I remove the screen I remove everything because uh, one of the snowblower is really a pain in the butt and they design it so bad that I would have to take it apart and remove it and I use this can you imagine valve stems yes Certain stuff though you might want to test it with gas first to make sure that these would withstand gas But the stuff that I've used so far it has no blown up or anything So test it first of course as as with anything else because some they're very cheap They won't work with gas, but they'll use you can use it for other things You can use it for air you can use it for um, breather holes uh, one time I had a um, my air breather holes broke on the part so I glue that section up so there's no more holes I drill a new hole and put this in and then I hook my breather into it so you can see various usage so it's very useful okay remember that tip but today we're gonna go an easy option so I'm gonna push everything aside so you won't get confused and I'm gonna go with step one, step two, step three, step four. But remember, these are all optional, okay? These are just optional that you can use. That way you are giving you ideas to use them, okay? Now, all we really need, okay, is our regulator. And we need this part, okay? This is the part that comes from your uh, gas tank and it has an open and, and shut off valve too which is very good okay this is to shut off and this is to oh no this is to oh, shut to to close and this is to open okay and that's it once the gas opens the diaphragm in here will close tight so gas won't even leak through until you press this button. Okay? And this is where it goes in. So step one, we're going to need this hose. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it up right now. Sorry, I have to move a little bit. Okay. That's step one. Let's not make people confused. I always cut things like in a way that I may reuse it later like this right here I want to reuse that for other products okay so we just cut that off I don't need it no more I use it for other project when I need it step two we're gonna go into here okay so we're gonna need the clamp okay let me get a screwdriver Sorry. So now we're going to go step two. Remember, remove this. You don't have to remove it. But for me, because I'm going to use it for this end, I'm going to remove it because it's very useful, like I said. Don't throw this piece out. This cover. Very useful. Put it into here. Okay. So we're going to step two, put it into here. Now, this is where the trick is because it's very tight. I'm just going to push it in just a little bit so you can see, okay? Let me uh, push this on the side here because I need some force to press in. Remember, Sometimes it's better to go to step three. Actually, you get the concept. Let me speed this video up. Put this into here. 
clamp it. Okay, use our clamp. So that's step two. Step three, you're going to have to decide from here to your filter, to your air filter. Okay, so how long do you need? Cut your line to where you need. Okay, I have measured earlier in my line. I need it around up to about here because I have a mark right there. But since I don't use this, I need this part because, like I said, these parts are very important. So I'm just going to cut it where my line is. Okay, I'm going to put that aside because I don't need it. Now, so we did step one, step two, now we're on step three. Step three, we're going to remove this because I don't need this. If you need it and you have room, use it. That way you don't have to buy anything extra, okay? You're going to need that or you are going to need a clamp, which in my case, I'm going to use a good clamp, okay? So I'm going to put it into here. Ooh, let me put the clamp on first. Sorry, not thinking there. And let me get off the camera for a second and push it on. Okay. So now we're done. Let me tighten that up. Remember, it does not need to be tight on this end. But because this hose is too big, I have to use it. Okay. So, we're done. Now, that was step three, right? Now we're going to go step four. Okay. From here, sorry. I have to bump you there. Let me get the um, another clip. Okay. Another clip goes into here. You don't need to do what I do. You can actually use this thing right here. But I think this is too big. Yeah, it's too big. So I'll use that for other projects. I don't need it. I'll use these clamps. These clamps. I love these clamps, by the way. It's just that everything's in there and you can just screw on whatever. So I'm going to tight, not tight, but just enough for it to hold. Now let's pretend this is our air filter into here. Okay. We're going to put that in and clamp that up. You are all set. So let's say this is here to the air filter. You are all set. Now, what do you do with these holes? You have to configure it in a way that is natural, okay? I will always, always tell people, anytime when you work with gas, work with liquid, you always route it in the way that is natural, okay? That's why I like this piece, but I don't really need it because there's no need for me to use that, okay? Because it has a, nine, a 45 degree, or is it 90? Uh, yeah, that's 90. Sometimes it's actually better, but depend on your, where your air filter is and everything. So don't throw any of these out unless you be able to use it. And then if that's the case, sorry, I have to reach over. You use these type of connectors. Okay, you just put them into here and then put them into here instead. See that? And then you can use this to go into your air filter. Let's say if you have to curve. Do you know what I mean? So let's say if you have to curve, because you want to curve it, you want to put your gas tank in the back or whatever of the tractor. Let's say I have a tractor and I want to put them in the back of the tractor. I, a 90 degree would be really helpful. So you just go to here and go to here and then put all your clamp back. 
and then clamp this up. See it? See the concept? You have to remember, on this end, you don't have to be secure no more. You have to remember that principle. Because if there's any gas leaks here, there's nothing. Barely nothing. Okay? But, like I said, if you want to be really nice, use these type of connectors. Use these ones right here. Even these will be good. Because they clamp in. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera there. Ooh. These type of connectors are very useful. Or you can use these black ones right here. Same thing. They're just holes clamps. Some are easy and some are hard. The hard ones, those are the real, real connectors. So let's say if I have to use the other stuff, I would use it on there. Okay. And I guess that's about it for this video. There's nothing, and uh, as you can see, I just use simple tools. A scissor and a thing and a cutter, that's it. I mean, I didn't use anything else. Just simple tools. You don't need like special tools or anything for this, except for, oh, drill. One drill bit, this big. Because I'm using this, I would have to drill it into my 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 air filter and then from your air filter you would hook on to here okay so this video it's all about parts all the parts you need sorry for the shaking there I can't um, I'm working with a little tiny space because I uh, my counter and then I have a wall behind me so it's kind of like really small enough for me to walk by but not for a camera either but as you can see it's very simple and easy um, I show you a bunch of options, but you don't need much. Remember, make this as easy and as cheap as possible. Okay, other than that, that's about it on this video. And I hope that uh, this will be helpful to you. Um, and then I am going to take my contraption that we just made. And then I'm going to put on to... Uh, um, our uh, tractors and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the tractor and then I'm gonna put on our um our snow blower too just those those are the two that I'm gonna do first and then um, after that um, I'll do like my generator and stuff okay